Hey, what's up all you Tabaholics? This is Paul here, aka Paula Busa, back with another video. And today we are here at the Rate Me 5 experiential event organized by Xiaomi Singapore. And we're gonna check it out. So let's go. So guys, let me give you a little bit of side story how I got to attend this event in the first place. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I actually dropped my Redmi Note 4 on the ground and this happened. The screen cracked, but everything else is working fine. So that means I need to source for a new phone. Went out there, searched for any Xiaomi phones that is launching soon. So came across the Redmi 5 Plus, which launched earlier last week. And there was a experiential event to facilitate the launch the week before. So I enrolled for the event and went ahead and got myself down. This is sort of like a hybrid video where it's a vlog and it's a first impression of the Redmi 5 Plus. And if you're interested in that, just stay tuned. Now the Redmi 5 Plus is relatively the same specifications as my Redmi Note 4 and if you're interested in the specs, I'll list them here, you may pause to view. So I'm not going to cover a lot on the specs. The real innovation here is of course the 18 by 9 ratio screen with a screen to body ratio of 77.4%. Yes, all the phone manufacturers are moving towards this bezel-less race. We see that in the same case with the Redmi 5 Plus. Outlook-wise, there's not much change. Personally, didn't like the camera bump that they have added now onto the body but uh, the screen wise yes it's a little bit longer it's not your regular 16 by 9 so you really got to consider what you're using your phone for if majority of the time you are viewing a website for example or you're uh, scrolling through facebook a longer screen does help but for me i watch a lot of youtube videos and when i watch a youtube video it just gives me two black bars at the side so not really useful uh, in that sense which brings me to the topic for the day and of course on the camera side which is what i'm also interested in uh, I do feel that it's more or less similar to the Redmi Note 4. As a YouTuber, I really need a good camera on hand. In case I didn't bring my camera gear, I can always use my phone. I look for a phone that has good video and good pictures, but this is not really the upside of the phone. So those are my first few impressions. Now let's get to the main point of this video. The main point of this video is really about you choosing your phones. It's always, always based on your needs. And let me tell you, everybody has different needs. For example, I like to watch YouTube videos. 18 by 9 screen doesn't help. You like to surf Facebook. 18 by 9 inch screen helps. The number at the back of your mobile phone model doesn't matter. It's not a race to see who has the highest number. The iPhone 10, iPhone 20, whatever. It's all based on your needs. You do not have to change your phone every time a single phone comes out. Look at your needs and look at whether that newer model innovates on that need. For me, it has to be the camera quality as well as the battery life. And battery life wise, from the Note 4 to the Note 5 is the same, but camera wise, there is no innovation. And I don't need that 18.9 screen. So that is not the phone for me, but it may be the phone for you. So this is a trash or treasure top tip. Do look at your needs and then select the mobile phone that you want based on those needs. Do not change every time a, a new model comes out. Save your money, buy your loved ones the gift they deserve, bring a family on a holiday, it will save you a ton of money. For me, I would rather not change and upgrade my camera gear unless the innovation is big enough for me to take the leap forward. So let's cover the event. I really thank Mini Singapore for organizing this experiential event. 
uh, showcasing not only the phone but a suite of Xiaomi products and this is the point where I want to cover there is a lot of things that are launched in China by Xiaomi which all the rest of the countries get at a later stage the Redmi 5 Plus for example it came out in other countries before we got it and then a week later after the launch in Singapore China launched the Redmi Note 4 5. Yes, there is a Note 5, there is a Redmi 5 Plus. It's all very confusing, I know, but to me, that innovation of the Redmi Note 5 serves my needs. The only difference from the Redmi Note 5 to the Redmi 5 Plus is the camera. So what it means is it lets in more light, perfect for low light conditions, especially for a videographer or a photographer. That innovation serves my needs and I would definitely want to go for that model than the Redmi 5 Plus. Coming back to the experiential event, of course it's great to see all the Xiaomi products lined up including the robo vacuum i didn't even know that there was an air purifier for the car that they make and it's interesting to find out about this product and they actually sell it in singapore maybe that's a product review i'll do in the future and of course i didn't even know they make screwdrivers battery 360 cameras rice cooker there is a lot of products that came to singapore later after their launch in china if xiaomi you're listening please Please, I hope you can do global launches. And for now, I would just have to wait for the Redmi Note 5 to launch in Singapore because I don't want to deal with China ROMs. I want the global ROMs where I'm getting updates. I'm currently using my Redmi Note 3 right now. It's working well. As you can see, I can use the older model. It still serves my needs rather than the newer model. But if that innovation is good enough for me to make the leap, I would take the leap. Back to the event. I always deviate from the event. Very well organized. They brought us there, they fed us, they gave an introduction of the phone. I enjoyed it and I happened to win the lucky draw, which is the Xiaomi M365 scooter. Yes, if you have been following the channel, I did a review on this last week, so do check it out. Yes, there is Lucky Draw and Goodie Bags involved. And this is what we've gotten actually, the Mi City Sling Bag, which cost about $30, $40 if you get it at the Mi store. It's got a good amount of space for your personal belongings, your tissue, your wallets, your card. Front hidden zip compartment as well. A really, really high quality single strap shoulder bag. I think I'll use this for traveling. Goodie bags, food, product information, lucky draw prices to be won. There's really a lot of upsides to attending such events. And if you are interested to attend such events, it's absolutely free. If you are interested in such events, you can always join the Me Community Forum. Alternatively, you can join the Singapore Me Fans Club close group on Facebook or you can like the Me Singapore Facebook page. Keep up to date with those events that are ongoing. Countdown, have fun, learn about the products and maybe you will find out something that you didn't know existed earlier and get the product itself and with that we've come to the end of the video hope you guys like it and i really hope to catch you at the next xiaomi event that we organize here in singapore i will see you in the next one this is paul here signing off ciao